Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKP. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Welcome back to the channel, guys, and we're going to get right on into the story. This is part five. We're going to be diagnosing, trying to see, dissect why Nene has it in for Andy Cohen. We already don't talked about Kim Zos yet, but we're going to get into Candy Burris. But before we go on into the story, y'all know where Nene at now? Child was on her boyfriend. Uh, cheating uh, husband, okay, of uh, somebody else. They're in Las Vegas now. That's where him and Nene are at. When Las Vegas, okay, wherever that is. Okay, she didn't go to Nevada, Las Vegas. She went to Wynn, Las Vegas. So, I guess she's going to be playing the slot machines down now, the crap table, or the card, poker. I, I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. But it seems like she wasting a hell of a lot of money that she's going to need later on to be paying her attorneys. Okay, attorney fees. But, hey, maybe she got a lot of money from the house sale and she got time to let it blow. Or let it do what it do do. Alright, so I just wanted to uh, update y'all. And, you know, that's her companion. And he's still wearing them furry slippers, y'all. I'm telling y'all. I've never known a man other than him being gay. <sighs> wearing furry slippers. But... He's matching his outfit, and they got the fur on him, his little sandals. Okay, but yeah, they're in Las, um, Las Vegas. Yeah, went on his Instagram account, trying to see what I can make it do, see what I can see. So I can report it right back to you guys, because I know y'all interested. Y'all just not nosy enough like me to go over there and find information. Okay, so I'll bring it to y'all. I do that hard work. And we try to make it do what we do. Let us have a conversation in the house about subject topic. Not me, but subject topic. Okay. So they don't went to Africa. They don't went to Paris, France. And now they're in Las Vegas. I thought she would go on, to, you know, to Spain or somewhere. Jerusalem. Hell, Colorado. You know what I'm saying? But hey, who am I? Who am I? All right, but make sure y'all make it over there to make it make sense. That's my avatar. That's what it'll look like. Hey, that's me. Y'all aunt, grandmama, niece, cousin, good friend. However y'all view me. Okay. That's my other channel and what it looks like. Uh, similar to what it looks like, but that's the name of the channel. But we're going to go and talk about Candy Burris. Uh, and Nene Leaks and who they wore that they seem to have with one another. I'm like, doggone Nene Candy. When will it ever end? When will it ever end? I mean, you say you don't have any ill will towards Nene Leaks Candy. And I, I somewhat believe that. But you're not going to let nobody keep throwing salt on your name you know throwing arrows at your back and you don't respond sooner or later now as we can see that was the happy couple that was candace friends and stuff of that nature and she kind of took cynthia baylor away from nene but nene did some stuff as well to make their relationship uh, no not palatable so she didn't come to nene's i mean she didn't come to cynthia's wedding a uh, uh, wedding shower, none of that. So it just is what it is. But the st the standing long feud that these two women have had against one another is ridiculous. And like I said, it's not 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 on Candy's part. She's just you know, I think Nene got mad at her when Candy came at her about attacking her mother. 
And you know, we're going to go to bats for our mother, dad, anybody we care for. We're going to be down like four flat tires, four thumbs down, or four hands down, or four feet down. Ten feet down, ten toes down, ten hands up, however you look at it. And she had just as much air time on Watch What Happens uh, live on Andy's little show as well. <coughs> However, Candy did say, Nene, her name, her face is going to be embedded in your brain. But she said the motherfucking brain. But, you know, we don't really have to go into all of that. Because anybody that saw the reunion, they knew what time it was. They knew what went down. And we were just going to speculate and talk about it in future conversations like we're doing now. But, yeah, Nene closed the whole computer down when Candy was get, trying to get her straight and together. Nene closed the computer down and left, walked off to see it. Okay. I'm like girl no, she had to go use the bathroom well couldn't you have told us you needed to use the bathroom and you would pick up this argument just as soon as you let out that boo boo or you let out that pee okay or both of them at the same damn time but you'll be back you will be back to sit there and uh I guess go back from square one to fussing with candy. But you never came back. Everybody was a little, a little upset and mad. This, that, and the third. And when you did came back, hell, it was over then. It was really over. That, that shows about your sportsmanship. You can't take it. You can dish it out, but you can't take it. But are you mad because candy is younger? She's 45 years old. She's making it do what it do. And Bravo execs like her. And Andy Cohen like her. Well, see, Candy plays by the rules to a certain degree. Because I don't know what be happening behind closed doors. I can't say. I can't say, Nina. You may be right. She might be talking uh, about you like, uh, I don't like to say a dirty dog, but a dirty rag. She probably be talking about you like a dirty house, a uh, 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 filthy car berator, okay? She might be talking about you for filth and dragging you behind the scenes. That is plausible. That could be true. Though we don't have any references, we don't have any receipts or anything of that nature. So we can it's still up in the air. It's still up in the air. Okay. But I can get with Candy where she says she, when she go pitch her idea to the execs, to Bravo, whomever listens to pitches or whatnot of good ideas that they need to invest in. She has said her and her husband Todd have, you know, had some things they pitched to Bravo execs and some things they didn't like. Told them to go back, try it again. Some things they did love and came with it and gave her the opportunity to make more money off of them. You see what I'm saying? But Candy don't be fighting with nobody. <laughs> Worst thing she do is do a verbal uh, hit or miss on somebody. Usually it was just you, Nene. I and Phaedra pause, but we could kind of see why she did what she did. But Candy ain't never forgot about you talking about her mother and then you did not apologize as well. So, because you was that whole thing about I said what I said and it ain't going to change. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I'll be like, meet me in the back of the parking lot after this is over. We're going to have no cameras. We're going to have nothing. But meet me out the back of the parking lot. And a young cat had to get an old cat together. Okay? Even if we had to put up them fights. You know, fist fights or whatever. But it probably would have to go down. But like I said, no cameras, no no uh, spectators. <coughs> Excuse me, no spectators, no, none of that. It's just been you, her, and the ground, or whatever, how y'all were going to get down, okay? That's all I'm saying. But, uh, I mean, Candace liked about, she's like, um... Uh, Oh, she's like real well in the community here in Atlanta. And, you know, she's likable. Um, and she gives people opportunities to do things. So right now, I think over there at the old lady gang, everybody should be starting off with $12 an hour. That's just how I see it. You make the money, Candy. You make it do what it do. Okay? Then people will more than likely be loyal to you the right way. They'll want to come to work. They'll be ready to work overtime if they need to. They'll, you know, be there for you and your business. Because you need good people that love what they do. Even if it's a servitude type of profession still. Hey, it just is what it is. Okay? But, uh, Nene, she can't help that Andy like her. And wants to see her do well. And wants her to continue to eat on Bravo's dime or Truly Original or True Entertainment or NBC Universal. Just as long as she's making the money. Okay, of course they're going to get the big 
bigger cut because they're putting out all the money up front all right you got to feed the machine back what it was given and then you get your cut that's this is good business sense you know you, it, it's not going to be a 50 50 split it is going to be something like a 70 30 or maybe or 80 10 you know what i'm saying well 80 20 uh situation they're going to get the more because they're investing they're taking all the risk and all of that good stuff so of course they're going to always make the most of what they put out there because they won't return back on their revenue. So, Gannon has been a good, solid businesswoman. And like I said, she even uh, you know admitted on her show that she goes and write down ideas. And they take it to a certain point. And when it's developed and it's kind of how she wants to see it to present it. Then she take it to them. You know, that's how the OLG was formed. Uh, and they said that was like five years ago they were really working on it and, and taping and this that and third but it just came to fruition now now was it a mm, how can i say it? was it a good pitch mm, probably uh is it something that i as a person with good creativity would enjoy watching every week it comes on no uh, but you do have some people out there that want to see shows like that. Only reason why I don't want to see it is because it's too much of what everybody experiences on a daily basis. They're going to pick and choose what they cut out, what they edit out. And sometimes the editing people can get it wrong. And they, they take out the part that should have been shown. But, you know, you follow me every day and see what I'm doing. It's kind of mundane. It's kind of uh, trivial. You know what I'm saying? It's just an everyday occurrence that you do every day. Like if you was a nurse and somebody was following you for a reality show. What are they really going to see? You reading notes. You're charting on the computer. If it's viable, you go in with them with the cameras and everything and watch them work up their patients. Kind of boring. Is it a very good professional job? Yes, it is because you're serving, you're serving mankind. And all their illnesses and all their comes and goings and all that. So, would that be a show? Like I said, I would want to watch every Sunday. No. I may catch, you know, here or there. Or, you know, if I look it up on the uh, television. Um, what do you call it? Uh, digest or whatever. See what's playing. Seeing what the subject title is going to be. And try to read the description of how the um, show is going to develop and form out. I, then I'll be like, okay, I, my mic can take that today. You know, and then have time, we don't fell asleep, and it's just, you can always catch it on replay. So, again, that um, Candy with the Gang, it was okay the first two episodes, but then it started to be something that is too repetitive. So, I didn't review it last week, and I probably won't review it this week either. Uh, but it just is what it is. But Candy had been, and probably still will, make money. Will she, should she get a second season? If they're going to keep showing the same thing, and you, no, I don't think it needs to be. Because you got to have a, a mixture of both good and bad. You know what I'm saying? you got to have that balance. But just watching somebody and they're comes and going, serving people in a restaurant, and we're talking about different things and being shown different things, or the ins and outs of working and running an operation up as a restaurant, that's boring as hell to me. Now, for others, it may be something they want to see. But no, Real Housewives of Atlanta, from what I see, it's going to be starting on May 1st. It's going to be good because it's going to have a little mixture of both. And, you know, Nene's not there. She's trying to take down <laughs> the network. Uh, she's trying to put it in a chokehold and strangle it to death until it can bleed her some more money. To me, that's like blood money. You know, you had your opportunity. You had your time to shine. It's over, Nene. It's over. Therapy. I had said that in my very first video. Of many videos to make on you and your commentary you're giving me it's over it's pretty much over and done and said we can't help that you're not on the show anymore that's something you're gonna have to fight with yourself and a therapist about okay on where you went wrong and is it a way to rebrand yourself and will any other entity of entertainment work with you all of it has question marks okay so <laughs> I saw how Nene tried to hook up with Sage and try to make Candy jealous and have, you know, her down at the restaurant and Apollo them down at the restaurant and stuff. Cause Todd them fell out with 
uh, Apollo as well. Uh, mainly because of all of that federal investigation thing that was going on. And it was threat threatening livelihoods over there, especially Candace. And, uh, you know, it just is what it is. But it was funny when Candace said she was enjoying some beach time with her family. And she knew she had spotted Nene at the same beach that she was partaking in. And she had hollered out to Nene. Nene looked back, looked at her, and turned her head and kept walking. <laughs> I said, Nene ain't no damn good. She ain't no damn good. But she wanted to throw salt on other people's name and make other people feel a certain kind of way for the negative. Like she didn't have no parts to play in it or anything. And everybody just doing her wrong. Such as Marlo. Marlo got her peach this uh, season. I ain't seen no type of interaction with them women like you've seen in the past when Nene was still getting checks from Bravo. Okay. I'm like, oh, I guess that friendship wasn't, it was a one-sided friendship. And meaning it wasn't meant to be because if your friend has an opportunity you don't get opportunity uh in the same um job or industry you should not get mad okay because you know you've had your long time long coming stance with real housewives of Atlanta. yes you introduce marlo to the sector it is what it is but she had paid her dues she made amends for some bad comments she was saying about the gay community and this that and the third and they forgave her and they moved on but you done tore up so many buildings you done burnt down so many bridges it's irreparable for you okay unless you can be reincarnated and come back into someone else and you got a clean slate other than that I don't see you coming out of this in a win-win situation okay but you can't blame candy yes nene is over there in las vegas Ooh, once again people she is still out there traveling spending money that she may have but gonna need later on down the road okay i'm pretty sure she's paying nayoni for his time away from his business his expenses when it comes to a ho uh, hotel room because i don't think they sleeping together he probably got his own hotel room job and his eating expenses and any other shopping that he would like to do but don't have the money to contribute i am sure nene is paying for the whole booking travel eating lodging all of that kind of stuff it's on her dime it's not on his dime okay so i'm like oh girl nene again i have never seen you travel throughout your whole career on the real housewives of atlanta how you have been traveling this last month girl i'm like really is that what we're doing we're going to put out a bombshell of suing everybody and their grandma and the kitchen sink and you don't want to be here to face the music you don't want to be here for reporters to be like hounding you on the outside or whatever uh running across you in the street and somebody saying girl why you doing this what's the tea you know what i'm saying instead of you being on your youtube channel but it shows me you can't really express yourself enough and candy's doing a very good job let me give let me let to her horn okay since we talking about both of them candy's over there on the speak on it section and she is grooming grooming herself to be a talk show Host, I'm telling y'all, she's been doing a phenomenal job over there, and um, she's had good guests, like she had Bazzino, uh over there, I think this past week, and she was talking about the comings and goings, about what he's going through, and what he's been through, and how he's faring, and I, I, I saw some of it, it was a pretty good interview though, but I don't like Benzo, Bazzino that way really, you know that have something that i feel i need to share with the world and my opinions on him and his comments and goings now when him and stevie J were together oh lord yeah i could do commentary for days by him trying to mentor stevie and trying to keep him on the right track when damn sure he falling off the right track and the building himself okay and then burn them, both of them burning up on the side of the street where nobody would even piss on him if they had to if they didn't have any other form of liquid they wouldn't even piss on him but uh yeah it, it just shows that nene has not grown she don't care to grow because you can't hold grudges you can't be mad of the cast members that are still on the show you can't get mad at candy for winning 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 
when she's making business deals and being shown everywhere in social media and doing interviews. You can't get mad at her. The girl has been on her grind since, I guess, 20. She already knew what she wanted to do. She already knew the career field she wanted to be in. And her and her mother, Mama Joyce, they made it happen. Okay? They, she was in a music uh, group. Uh, she was one of the artists that uh, made the group escape. She wrote for them. She wrote for other singers and stuff. And... Um, she produced some things and was a mother all at the same damn time. Okay. We ain't going to say she knows she was messing with a married man as well. And why and how she got up with Block, his uneducated, untalkative self, need, like he need a breathing machine all in one. Because he like he was gasping for air when he was conducting himself through an interview with Blab TV. I'm like, what is going on with him? Before he tried to criticize anybody or talk about anybody, he need to get his breathing in check. Because it seems like he was one breath away from passing out. I'm like, get him off of the station. Let him go take care of his, uh, his health. Because it's failing right in front of our eyes. His health is failing. He's not getting enough oxygen to even hold a conversation or hold an interview through its entirety. Okay, that's all I had to say. But can I like, how did you get messed up with that man? Girl, he must have had good dick. That's the only thing I can see. He must have had good dick and satisfied you so well in the bed. You had to break down and have a baby by him. You just threw caution to the wind and you had to break down and get impregnated. Even though I know it took two people, he wasn't wearing no uh, uh, rubber or condom. So the possibility was always there for him to get you pregnant and y'all have a baby together. But he just didn't expect you to go tell everybody, especially his wife, okay? And then that's when it really went south for you. But just the thought of, girl, how did you even, I mean, the attraction is not there. Just how he talks about life and deals. That wouldn't have held not one ounce of my attention. I was like, uh-uh, I don't understand him. I, I, I can't un get with his philosophy. I got to go. So other than that, I just, I had to come to the conclusion it was the dead girl. The dead can get you in trouble. It really can. It can foster relationships that in your right mind, you never would have thought of having. But like I said, it's just yes what it is, okay. But yeah, Nene, um, you don't lost swag. You did those uh, employees wrong. You didn't pay them what they were worth. They thought they were coming in, you know, to their job, and they had like nothing but bars and locks on it with no explanation. You couldn't be reached, none of that. But you call yourself a rich bitch, and that you own this, that, and the third, girl. Only thing I could say, get your duckies up because you're gonna have a long and hard fight with Bravo. And then you ain't the people that you probably think you're gonna have on your side. Once they get to thinking about all the stuff that they can lose, they're gonna re recant their stories. They're gonna recant and go on with the employer that is employing them and giving them money at this time. And they're gonna leave you short, hot, and dry. Hot and dry. Alright, but that's all I have for this video, guys. Like and love, you gotta have more. You know I'm gonna be cranking them out until I find I have exhausted all avenues of trying to cover Nene and this whole mess of a lawsuit she done got herself into. Why or oh why when she was in good standings with the company and she was having issues with any of the castmates or the executives, why she didn't open the Pandora's box then? Because people would have probably been more on her side. Because she was still being favored. She wasn't ousted. She was still making. She was on their payroll. Still making appearances. Still filming. And they would have said. Okay well she must see some things that really need to be straightened out. For people going forward. Even after she leaves. She made a mark. To show that you cannot discriminate. You cannot have racism in your organization. And think we're going to idly sit by and let it just go past us. No. But she waited until she got ousted. And then she calling everything foul. And she wants her rep uh, what do you call it? What? reparations. <laughs> so she could go on into the sunset. But that's all I got, y'all. That's part five of... 
the debacle of a trial or a lawsuit that Nene has been frivolously uh, um, put into the court system and they're going to have to address it to basically see if she do in fact have a case. But again, like I said, it's what you can prove and how you present your case will be the determining factor or who's going to win. But in Nene's case, like I said, it's no real win there. Either way, she loses. All right, but that's all I had on Candy and Nene's relationship and why it's in the toilet. Okay, <laughs> I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.